Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be installing a larger solid state disk drive for the sentry mode and also the dash cam. This modification works in Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y, and probably the Cybertruck. You may not have one of those yet, nor do I. <laughs> Anyway, I sound like Froggy. I'm getting over a cold from that ham convention, uh, running out of uh, energy and catching a cold. So let's uh, get to it here, and I'll show you how easy it is to upgrade your existing stock uh, hard drive that's in the Tesla that you own now. Now, if you do own an older Tesla, uh, the location where you install it will vary, but I'm going to show you here in the Model Y, uh, you'll have to consult your manual and find out where it is. But since all Teslas have the upgraded software, you'll be able to do that. Some very old Teslas do not have sentry mode and they probably don't have a dash cam. So this will not give you those features if your car doesn't currently have it. All right, let me show you how to get this going. I'm in my new blue Model Y long range and we will be installing this upgrade to the solid state disk drive to add capacity to the sentry mode and the dash cam. The SSD inside I think is 125 megabytes, which is fine for most things, but if you want to capture everything, the larger solid state disk drive will allow you to capture just about six or eight months of driving of everything that's recorded. Might come in handy. I like to have a larger SSD here in the car. First uh, step here is we go to uh, controls. Under controls, you see what says recording on the dash cam. You notice a little red light there. Let me back this up and get rid of the uh, effect there. And uh, you see that it says recording, right? Stop the recording prior to pulling the existing SSD. Otherwise, it's in the middle of recording and you may wreck the fat table and things on the hard drive that I'm going to remove. So it's simple. You just press and hold and the little red light goes off. So now we're clear to remove this device without affecting its data contents. Same thing goes on your computer. You don't jerk out an external hard drive without uh, turning it off or unmounting it. So that's what we did. We unmounted the SSD internally here. Okay, next up, we need to open the glove box. Now we can do that several ways here. Um, I can do it here by pressing in, open the glove box. And I can do it by voice command. If uh, you're not wanting to talk, uh, you simply press the glove box here. And you'll do the same thing. If we look in the glove box now, you see that the existing stock hard drive that comes with the car is installed. We've unmounted it, so now we can safely remove it. And so that's what we'll do. I'll reach in here pull it out. Let's have a look at it here. All right, so this is a high quality 128 gigabyte USB drive. It's not a cheapo beepo one you buy for $3. This is very expensive and I advise you not to uh, throw it away. It can be used on your computer uh, as a uh, just a regular hard drive. Uh, you'll need to format it for your given computer type, but uh, don't throw it away. It's uh, very nice. This is the hard drive I recommend. It's made by Samsung. It is a solid state hard drive. Uh, they're very reliable. It is a Model T7. The model I chose was a one terabyte. Uh, it's arbitrary. You can go with a 500 gigabyte, that's fine. But I recommend you buy the Samsung T7 as uh, it is a high quality solid state disk drive. On this uh, particular drive, uh, it has a USB-C connection, and it also comes with different types of cables. The USB-C here, and the Type-A USB connector. 
since the connector in the Tesla is this big fat type A, uh, and the connector on the hard drive is a type C, this will mate our hard drive to the internal uh, connector here in the car. I'll show you, I'll plug it together and show you the whole rig. So here's the rig. I'll show you the Amazon link in the notes below. We're all ready. So uh, what I do is I'm gonna try to do this uh, with one hand. I will uh, uh, let the hard drive sit here and then I will line up the connector and plug it in just like that. Yeah, it just sits in your glove box and you can put your maps, uh, like you use paper maps uh, on top or the manual or whatever, just, and you can dress up the cable if that's what you want, but you want a little bit of movement there. Once we do that, look what the car says. It's unavailable, right? And of course it's unavailable. So what do you do when you have a computer and you stick a new hard drive? You have to format it, right? So you want to go here, Zoom it in a little bit so we can all see. We want to go to safety, okay? Scroll down here, and you can see we have the option to format the drive, all right? So we'll do this. We will say format here. It formats the drive for compatibility with the car. And just like that, it is ready. Now, how do we know? We go back to controls and we can see that it's ready to record. So how do we start it? You press this, and now we're recording. It will auto record on sentry mode and dash cam. Anytime you're driving, if something bizarre happens, it'll all be recorded on this giant memory. So that wasn't very hard now, was it? I find uh, upgrading my solid state disk drive in this fashion is a good peace of mind. If you like this short video, give me a like, and if you would, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Pass my videos on to your friends, as I know they would love to upgrade their vehicles as well. The Tesla referral link shown here at the bottom of the screen, uh, if you have someone wishing to buy a Tesla and you want to share my referral link with them, I will turn any points I get into more supercharger miles and bring you more Tesla stuff out on the road. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.